bludgeoned her with a club. <clears throat> Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the department of body odor. Yeah, well... Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus has more in his head than you have. This guy's yes, luggage. And I'm sure I you bet could he feed forgot three, the bowl. Four. Of course. You never. No. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Ugh. Maybe his feet are Lace twice the under. size. <laughs> he can keep those. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes in. Oh, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? All right, that's enough. <laughs> so this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia. Yeah, I was quiet there because their uh, dialogue would have just out been, you know, going over me. And uh, yes, this is the finale of Let's Play Deponia. I should have mentioned that, but yeah, it's in the title. Anyway, we need to. Of course, impersonate Cletus and get up to Elysium, but the real Cletus is in the way, so what should we do? This took me way too long to figure out, even though there's literally almost nothing else we can click on here. But you just have to repeat the same dialogue option while you're dressed as Cletus, and then this happens. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! And put it on the flag. No, don't! <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We did it! We really did it! On to Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? Uh, what? what? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go! To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Uh. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gole. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Go. He hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Go. Don't. Go. Listen. You don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. <sighs> well, sorry to have to do this, Cole. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bravo! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? 
From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious. You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me. Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Well, I guess we've made it. We've done it. And we're on you the uh, to roll for a while. No, no, don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub. Okay? I guess so. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um. Come on. How about a bit more enthusiasm? On to Elysium and all that. Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then, on to Elysium, right? Now there's an achievement you can get here if you're playing along. And uh, the chance to finally give Rufus, like, some endearing qualities. So you can, you know, say all these things to just say, uh, just go along with it. But if you really want to be the good guy... Say go. Yes? like this. I'm all ears. If you just keep p p picking the good options, you will get the achievement. Well... What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? Alright then. I'm gonna tell you now. You have to promise not to get mad. You never Why asked somebody to do that. Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. So remember, she had no memory of Rufus or anything like that. Because of the backup cartridge. Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Should have caught her. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Only a bit. Well... Uh, goal has a bad time of understanding and Rufus has a bad time of display a bad time of explaining he, he could have explained things so much better but instead he's more obsessed with his, with his relationship with her than with the actual situation going on Ugh. hey Cletus they'll greet me with a tan conf um, oh boy can't actually pick up Stop ogling like that! <laughs> Can we get inside his bag? Ugh! Lace underwear. Uh, <laughs> reminds me of a Largo Legrand, if you know what I'm referencing. So 
So we now have the backup cartridge. I don't think we can put it in though. What? Well, I... Rufus, you miserable! Oh, we can, um, but... No, that's what the catch was. <laughs> so where did we leave the other cartridge? Maybe, oh, the uh, Organon must have it. Faster! We need those codes! Yes, Bonif. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately! As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! Oh, uh, Portofisco, that's in the next game. That's kind of one of their bases of operations where it was it's once now a, or never. It was once a nice town, but they kind of took control and they, uh. Well, you'll just have to see w what's going on there in the next game. <laughs> this device bears a striking resemblance to Cletus. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because <laughs> look at it. Uh. Yeah, they're using this machine to read the cartridge to get the ascension codes. But apparently it's not working very well. No time. They could be back any second. There they are. Goals memories. Or are those the fake ones? Doesn't matter. There they are. Now these are the ones that uh, she's had of us. Of uh, this whole ordeal. One that knows that they're well. They, I guess they both know they're Deponians here, but whatevs. And then he got down. Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing. And immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. Oh. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gold's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha, <laughs> you wish. What is going on here? Ah, the Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Um... Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So, what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than goal's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. L let's talk this over. And why, pray tell, should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge, nothing else. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet the girl would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. 
My, my, my. Deponia will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> Jesus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything, but take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh, yes. The cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> so long, suckers! What? No! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge? Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir! That's enough. Fist duck. Ow. Ow! Not that high. Okay. Yeah, we need to get away from these guys. Let's, uh, head on, see if we can force our way into the elevator. Fist duck. Oh, okay. He just shot me. That doesn't work. Damn. He's too far away. Well, this is. No only one can resist the organ on. Only one thing we can do. Give up, little man. See you later. No! Stop! Oh, Oof. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Hopefully we land in something soft. Oh. <laughs> Back so soon. <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall, and you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but... Uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Uh... Hmm. 
Now look at you startled The brain implant cartridge Has opened swap Which was all part of the plan The world has been rescued That he did detest Who'd have guessed I attest You'd have done just the same So if you still want to force me To do stupid chores Like washing the dishes To the trash and such You'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said uh, The message and its course like Huzzah as a rule Huzzah the chorus guys rule And there it is, Deponia. Definitely a great game. I'll admit that the whole of the storyline, like from one to three, I haven't actually played through it. But from what I can see, it could have all just been put into one game. However, with the different puzzles they put in, with the humor, with all the extra stuff, it does work as three games, and I love it. Especially in the second game, there's so much uh, replay value to it as, well, I can't, I just can't wait to replay it for you guys on Let's Play Chaos on Deponia, but that'll be uh, later, or if you're watching this in the future, it's probably already up, so why don't you go look for it? But definitely a game uh, worth playing, a game worth getting, of course I got them all when they were on sale because I'm cheap like that, and, well, that's how it works. But uh, stick around until after we play this, because there's one little extra I want to show you. Throughout the Let's Play, so after I mentioned just one achievement that I just don't want to get, that I'm never going to get, because it's just too much trouble. And, uh, well, I'll show you uh, what that is. But all in all, I like the voice acting. It, it seems like an indie game, even though Data Look has done a whole bunch of games on Steam. It's like seriously, almost every single point and click adventure game that's on Steam is by Data Lick and, uh, Entertainment. And there's a whole bunch that I've uh, bought that I still have yet to play, but I look forward to playing. And maybe if they're good enough, I'll play it for you guys. So yeah, support them, buy their stuff, all that good stuff. Oh, he's the voice actors. Oh, Rufus and Cletus are done by the same person. Alright. Good to know. It's always interesting when uh, such a small cast of voice actors does, you know, such a large, uh, well, well, range of characters. It's like each voice actor has to do like three or four different characters. And that's pretty cool. That shows talent. And I'm still not sure exactly what Elysium is. For some reason, I, I was remembering that it was the planet, but it's not actually the planet, that's like the moon up there. But it's these uh, floating things here. What it seems like is that Deponia is Earth, and that, um, I guess, people, rich people, I guess, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with being rich, but you know, sort of superior people, kind of escaped from uh, the Earth after being junk heap to float up here. But uh, that's only a theory. Yeah, did you see how it said Drago Jug mode unlocked? Well, let me show you something. After you beat the game, go to settings. You'll notice that there's this new icon here with this face here. Changes will only take effect after rebooting the game. So, uh, let me, uh, click that and let me, uh, reboot the game. So, hold on. Alright, and, uh, let's see if we can start up a new game now. Droggle Jug. Okay. Droggle Jug. Um. Droggle Jug. Droggle Jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle, 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 droggle jug, droggle jug, 
what is going on? They keep saying Droggle Jug. Well, let's skip this. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle. Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug. Struggle Jack, struggle Jack, struggle, struggle Jack, 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 I think you can guess where this is going. Droggle jug. 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 Droggle jug, droggle jug. So yeah, we unlocked droggle jug mode. Everything is droggle jug. Every line said, the song, every dialogue option you can choose, everything in the inventory is droggle jug. Now, the achievement. You get the Droggle Jug achievement if you beat the whole game in Droggle Jug mode. So let us begin my Droggle Jug Let's Play of Deponia, where I will also only be speaking in Droggle Jug. So let's begin. Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug, Droggle Jug. Droggle jug, droggle jug, droggle jug. Okay, just kidding. I'm not going jug. to do that. Droggle That's just droggle jug. You can see why I never, ever, even want to get this achievement. That is just, it's too much. If you want to do it, go right ahead. But I'm just, uh, no, 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 no. Let us just not. Okay. Let's hear a bonus. Oh, these are just, this shows all the uh, cutscenes. Yeah, and uh, Chaos and Opponent, there are a few more things to bonus, and there's no Drug or Drug mode, luckily. But there's a little something different. But, like I said, we'll get there when we get there, and all more games from Data Lake Entertainment down here you can check out. But yeah, that's it. That was Deponia. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will uh, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment on your feelings on the game, on any game on here check out all the other awesome uh, games I've played on here and uh, yeah so uh, thank you for watching and have a good day